Hello. Today we're going to watch episode 16 of Yan's story, and today's episode has a lot to do with this piece of music. I'm sure you're familiar with it. It's from Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, which in Japanese is called simply the Ninth. Daiku. At the end of each year, there are concerts all over Japan where ordinary people can get together to sing it. If they want to sing, though, they have to practice reading the German lyrics of the daiku, and that's no easy matter. Okay, so let's see what this has to do with today's episode from Yan's story. おはようございます。おはようございます。皆さん、お願いがあるんですけど。何でしょう実はドイツ語の読み方がわからないんです。ドイツ語。ええ。これなんです。私たちダイコを歌おうと思っているんです。毎年暮れにダイコを歌う会
立ってみて「大年三弁臨電ビーデンパスティーモーデン主典が大移動」「どいつがにかわりです」本当。でもどうして近所の人が大工歌うんですよわあ面白そう私もやりたいええお願いしますよええ場所は家の近くのお風呂屋さんです遅い分かってる分かってる今から始めようと思ってるんですけどヤンさん何時頃そろそろ出ようと思ってるんです三十分ぐらいでつけると思いますよええはいわかりましたじゃあまた後でヤンさんこれあどうもすいませんじゃあそろそろ出かけましょうかそうですね大熱サーベルビンデンビーデルマスピーモーデストレンゲタイねえちょっとちょっとヤンさんこれ一体何ですかまあいいですからこの日本語を読んでくださいえこれ読むの大熱アウベルビンデルビーデルバスデイモーデストレンゲタイトあらおじさんドイツ語に聞こえるわよえ本当かい本当よ今度私が読んでみるから聞いててバスデイモーデストレンゲタイルトアーレメンシェンベルテンブリューデンあ,あ、本当だドイツ語に聞こえるよなうどうもありがとうございましたいい、ね、ありがとうございましたヤンさんどうもありがとうみんな大喜びよよかったですねどうもありがとうございましたどういたしましてしましそれでは皆さん一緒に読んでみましょうやってみようやってみようこちらの方へちょっと集まってくださいそれでは皆さんみんなで読んでみましょういいですか一、二の三。大ゲーサーベルビンデンビーデルバスデイモーデルショーレンデタイトアーレメンシェンデルデンブルーデンボーダンザンデルブルーデルバイイダメダメビートデルじゃなくてビーデルよ大熱アウベルビンデンビーデルとあれな何だったっけなえー、っとバスデイだったら確かバスデイのバスデイビンデンビーデルほらねビーデルでしょはいじゃあ三時大熱アウベルあれなんだっけはい、もしもし、ヤンですああ、岡田さん今どこですか私今上野駅にいるんですええ、今夜の新幹線で帰るんですいろいろお世話になりましてそんな、僕の方こそお世話になりましたでも、寂しいですねヤンさん、新潟へはそうですかじゃあ遊びに来てください山の中ですけど本当に遊びに行ってもいいんですか
えきっとじゃあ気をつけてありがとうございますヤンさんもお元気ではい Did you manage to catch what was going on? The story started at the shopping arcade that Yan passes through every morning on his way to the station. He's made friends with some of the people there. They asked Yan to do them a favor, something to do with Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Then, Yan met his neighbor, Mrs. Hori, who works in a small shop at the station. After he arrived at the university, Yan and his friends came up with an original method for learning the German lyrics of the daiku. Their method seems to have worked quite successfully, and everyone thanked Yan and his friends for their effort. Finally, when Yan came home, he got a phone call from Miss Okada, who was about to leave for her hometown. Well, That's basically what happened in today's episode. Today, we're going to concentrate on the scene at the shopping arcade. Watch again and try to guess what they're all talking about. Yan, there's a request. What's wrong? I don't know the English language. English language? Yes. これなんです。私たち大根を歌おうと思っているんです。Well, what was going on exactly? First, the woman who was waiting for Yan to pass by was Haru-chan from the fish shop. She asked if Yan would do them a favor. Then another. Older woman came running up to him and kind of implied what they wanted him to do. She said, This literally means we don't know how to read German. And in this case, we should interpret it as implying, please teach us how to read it. Yan seemed to be a little surprised. So then they explained why they needed to study German. Watch the same scene again and see how they explain their reason. Well, How did you get on this time? When Yang replied, Doitsugo, German, the woman showed him the musical score saying, Kore nan desu, it's this. Then Haru chan said, This means we're thinking of singing Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Haru-chan said this as an explanation of why they need Yan's help. Let's watch a bit further on and see another example of this kind of expression. She said that they're thinking of taking part In a performance of Beethoven's Ninth. We can see examples of a new verb form here. Utao and deyo. Verbs in this new form express the concept of intending to do something, 
So, utao means something like intend to sing, and deyo means something like intend to take part in. If you combine this with to omotte iru n desu, you can explain that you're thinking of doing or planning to do something in the future. We'll see how to make this new verb form later, so don't worry about it too much now. For the moment, let's just see some more examples of this pattern. Ara, Ando san! Jogging? Yes, I'm going to go to the Lulu Marathon. Lulu Marathon? Both Ando-san and Kodama-san have taken up jogging, but they seem to have different reasons for doing so. Did you get what they were? Ando-san started jogging because He's thinking of taking part in the Honolulu Marathon. On the other hand, Kodama-san started to jog because... He's intending to lose some weight. ダイコウタオと思っているんです。歌おうと思っているんです。ホノルルマラソンに出ようと思っているんです。出ようと思っているんです。少し痩せようと思っているんです。As we saw before, today's expression contains a new verb form. Some examples we heard were utao, deyo, and yaseyo. Utao comes from utau to sing. To change this into the new form, you need to drop the final u and replace it with o. A similar change is seen with yomo, nomo, and kao. On the other hand, deyo comes from deru to take part in. And yaseyo comes from yaseru to lose weight. To make the new form in these cases, you need to drop the final ru and replace it with yo. Similar changes are seen with miyo, tabeyo. And hajime yo. These new forms are sometimes called volitional forms. There's a list of them in your textbook along with some more explanations. And remember that you can use them in this pattern to say that you're thinking of doing something in the future. Let's see how today's pattern is used in a slightly different way in another scene from Yan's story. Yan-san,
The people taking part in the daiku performance are about to start their practice. Haru-chan called Yan to tell him that they intended to begin any minute. She said, This word at the end, kedo, or to be a little bit more formal, ga, is used to imply something indirectly. In this case, all Haru-chan says is that they intend to begin their practice now, but she's also implying that they need Yan to be there in order to do so. In short, she's asking Yan to come quickly, or at least tell her when he will arrive. Remember to use nga instead of kedo to be more formal when you want to imply something like this. Now, let's just see a few more examples of this way of implying something by using nga at the end. あ、おはようございます。in this case, Ando-san said he's thinking of starting the meeting at 3 o'clock and added nga at the end to ask indirectly if this is okay. あの、会議を始めようと思っているんですが。あ、2時。あ、すぐ行きます。はい。あ。あ、ちょっと待って。会議を始めようと思っているんですが。in this case, Ando-san said they are intending to start the meeting. He ended his sentence with nga to imply indirectly that Kodama-san had better hurry up or else. Anyway, today you learn how to say what you're thinking of doing in the future using this basic expression. Ando-san is looking at something very carefully. I wonder what he's looking at. What are you looking at? This He's looking at a magazine about new models of cars. He may be thinking of buying one. Try to complete his sentence using today's expression. Remember, the verb for buy is kau. But you need to change this a little bit. He said, so, he is thinking of buying one after all. あれ、アンドさん、車をえ、買おうと思っているんです。え、本当? 
。小玉さんはどうですか。<笑>そうね。ええー、ああ。Well, I hope you enjoyed today's program. Until next time. さようなら。<音楽>